Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Baldy Does. Today, we're doing Mazda roof bars. Um, as you can see, I already have the roof rails installed. You do need these in order to install the crossbars. Um, they're fairly cheap. I've heard a lot of good things about the Amazon ones, but we are using OEM only on this vehicle. So direct from the Mazda dealer, direct from the Mazda dealer. Um, reason being is the reviews are a little iffy on the aftermarket ones with them breaking from holding kayaks and other things. Now the weight capacity is only 165, so I wouldn't recommend, you know, someone like myself laying on them, but otherwise you should be good. Uh, today we're going to be using the included T30 Torx. You can use your own, but I'm going to show you guys how to do this straight out of the box from Mazda. Uh, other tools I'm going to be using would be a moving blanket to keep from scratching my roof as well as a step stool. So let's get into it. Okay guys, just one thing to note. The kit comes with these rubber pieces. Um, these are essentially like a grommet that goes in between the crossbar and the roof rail. Uh, you wanna make sure you put these in. These are gonna help it from keep from sliding around as well as from scratching your actual roof rails. Uh, they just push right in and there's no issue there. Now before you do that note, and you can remove them super easily. They do say front left, front right, uh, rear left, rear right. So make sure you note the orientation because that is key when placing it as one set is a little shorter than the other set. So the front is shorter than the rear. So yeah, that's all there is to that. Okay guys, so here you can see we've got our crossbar in the channel or on the uh, channel, I should say, on the roof rail. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in the two T30 Torx. Um, it's really simple. So this is one of the easier things to do. Almost anybody can do it. Um, if you can't, if this is above your level of automotive, don't be ashamed. So got a little fun game of find the hole. Get in there. Here's your little Torx tool. Um, if you are a automotive guy, I will recommend, it's probably a lot easier with a swivel socket and a long Torx set. Alright, I got the one in there. I didn't tighten it all the way down. Because I like to put all four in so I can make sure it's nice and center before I tighten down. So we've got that one in. Same thing. So now let's go to the other side, put those two in, and come back and start tightening them all up. Okay guys, now that we've got the driver's side done, um, we're going to go ahead and come over here, finish tightening this side. Um, I will say real quick, um, they say, you know, rear right, rear left. The right and left of the vehicle, left is driver's side, right is passenger side. So if you are sitting in the vehicle, that's how you're going to come to the conclusion of what your left and right is. Um, if you look at the vehicle front on, you're going to be backwards. So remember that. That'll help you figure out how to install these. So another trick for the rears that I noticed, the front don't necessarily need this, but the rears were a lot easier when I positioned on one side and then put in the other side a little bit further forward and then slid it back into the uh, mounting position. That seemed to help me with the tight fitment. Uh, you may not have that issue, but just in case. So go ahead, finish tightening this up. Um, I will say, it wasn't for the fact that I told you guys I'd be using this tool to do it. 
I would be going through my toolbox. Um, if I had to rate the difficulty using this tool to secure these down, I would definitely give it a uh, 3 out of 5 on the Ogadoga Doga scale. All right. All right, now we've got these tightened down. Um, there are some screws on the underside here. Uh, I do believe it's probably going to be a T25 or a T27. The T30 does not fit. Um, you do want to actually tighten those down on the driver side as that uh, foot of the roof uh, bars does move back and forth a little bit to allow you some wiggle room to install it in case you need to go a little bit wider. Um, so just so you know that. I do not have one on me, so I'll have to go back after I'm done installing these and get the correct tool to do that. I uh, just wanted you guys to know that. Alright, let's go uh, to the fronts. Okay guys, so real quick, we've put the uh, screws on both sides. Um, I've already went ahead and tightened down the other side, and I'm coming over here to finish off the passenger side of the front. Um, once I'm done with this, like I said, you know, I need to go get that T25 to finish off the roof racks and tighten down the driver's side. It is the same on the uh, driver's side as, is, as it is on the rear. Um, you still have to tighten down those two screws that keep the foot from sliding. So once again, if you can avoid using this tool, I would do it, but right out of the box, it's not a horrible option. Just takes a lot longer. Okay, so that's it. We're done. Got the crossbars on here. Now it's time to go throw my basket on and get ready for a road trip. See you guys in the next episode. Baldy does here. Just wanted to say thank you guys for watching another episode. Um, you know, obviously today we installed the crossbars on our roof rails. Uh, super easy to do. Um, realistically, anybody could probably do this. Don't be discouraged if you're not one of them. Not everybody can do everything. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode and be sure to subscribe. Thanks guys.